All right, Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakradash. Double honors unto the elder high priests, the teachers of our apostles, as well as our apostles and elder bishops at Great Millstone. Peace and blessings unto the 144,000 and the rest of the elect of Israel. All right, this is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp. I'm going to go into this uh, article that I have here, and uh, I'm going to hit a few precepts. But, but, but before I do, I want to say that the so-called black woman, really the modern woman of the of the Western um, world mindset, but the mainly it's the so-called black woman. She's a, 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 a fucking nutcase. You know, that's why, you know, the spirit has been on our apostles since, you know, we are us brothers came in the truth going back um, six. What is it? 15, 16, 15, 16, 15 plus 17 years ago, 17 years ago for certain brothers, you know, the apostles been telling brothers to stay away, you know. And um, up until this very, up until this very day, the uh, this the so-called black woman is is literally psychotic right now. She's uh, raging with demons in her. Okay, and it's showing. They're they're terrorizing the earth right along with Esau, the so-called white man. Okay, they're in your supermarkets. They're at the gas station. They're in the streets. They're in the clubs, they're in the bars, they're in the restaurants, you name it. They're on the, on the road, road raging. They are just terrorizing the planet Earth, screaming, hollering, and yelling, and fighting, and, and, and murdering. It's another thing they're doing well, is murdering. There's a murderous demon on these so-called black women, especially. Let's go into this real this real quick. This is a, a something that happened down here in uh, Houston, okay? And this is off of the uh, complex. And it says, if I can get it, let me see, see full page, okay? Let's see, by uh, Brad Callis, okay? And you read the title right here. It says, Texas mother arrested after leaving her young children home alone to go on a cruise. All right. Now, this is what I'm going to read. I'm going to read as, as far as I see necessary. And this is not going to be a long video. Okay, Lord willing. It says a Texas mother is facing time behind bars after allegedly leaving her children, her young children home alone while she went on vacation. It says, as reported by K Houston 11, Lakeisha, see that? Lakeisha Woods, Williams, Lakeisha Woods, Williams, Keisha, Lakeisha, no, same thing. It says it's facing a child abandonment charge after she allegedly left her two children six and eight year old alone in houston apartment for nearly a week uh she was in she was uh, on a cruise it says williams 29 was arrested and booked into a jail last thursday and has been charged with abandoning abandoning a child with the intent to return she is being held on a twenty five thousand dollar bond the mother has uh, I'm sorry, the mother of two was arrested after police received a call from the neighborhood. I'm sorry, from the neighbor who was concerned about the children's safety. According to the police, the apartment was in disarray. As the officers who arrived at the scene said trash and leftover food were scattered around the home, which also smelled like urine. And uh, I'll put this... If I'll put the uh, article in the description box, but uh, there's more on this article, but that's the gist of it. It's more an article. It talks about, you know, <clears throat> how she's lying, saying that 
a cousin was supposed to show up to watch the children but never showed which that's complete bullshit because because the whoever was supposed to watch the children if you really had a, a sitter should have been there before you left not showing up so that that's bullshit you know but this is the type of shit that these hoes are doing they're they're uh they're murdering their children attempting to murder their children they're uh, uh terrorizing if they got a man they terrorizing him but right now men are checking out men don't the so-called black men don't want to deal or no man wants to deal with with eve okay and not 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 uh nothing more than to get their rocks off you know get your rocks off smash and dash and they ain't even really good for that you know they're abusing these children psychologically they not involved with the children and you name it man eve is all over the place fucking up fucking up fucking over everybody especially her damn self you know and the men are not in the house the, the men are not in these houses the children are having to experience the psychotic behavior of the of this woman man so-called black woman so let's hit a couple of scriptures and then i'm a, i'll be out of here this is proverbs 21 and uh nine it says it is better to dwell in a corner of the housetop than with a brawling woman in a wide uh house let me see i think i wanted to There's another one now that's anyway this scripture is just showing you a woman has a a um if you're in a brawling spirit because not only would a man have to deal with this but the children this brawling spirit if you brawl if you're in the spirit to brawl you pissed you're angry i want to check the word for uh brawling real quick Alright, so for the word uh brawling here in the what is that? Proverbs twenty twenty one and nine. So the Hebrew word it goes back to H forty seventy nine and the Hebrew word is Mada yun mada yun or it may be mad yun or mada yun okay let's see what we got it says strife can content contention let's see something real quick look what it says for strife it says angry or bitter disagreement what else it got there Ang uh, angry or bitter disagreement over fundamental issues, conflict, strife with within the community. <laughs> Just a broad definition for, or a loose definition for the word strife. Okay, angry. It's a synonymous um, brawling. So synonyms to for brawling is strife, contention, uh, angry, so forth and so on okay and uh these children are having to deal with everybody's having to deal with the spirit of these nutcases a literal fucking nutcase psychotic because what kind of woman would you know leave and the scriptures oh uh, man i gotta there is a precept i gotta get there is a um well i'm at to skip to let the precept i was thinking about bringing i'm gonna jump straight to the the pro, uh, appropriate scripture but the what i was gonna say was the children are always uh, having to deal with these fucking women all the time man oh what i was saying was what kind of woman is gonna leave on a cruise go with her emotions to have fun and leave a six and an eight year old at the house for damn near a week you see 
That's psychotic behavior. There's nothing lot uh, logical about that. All right. So I'm gonna bring this out in uh, Job 13. I'm sorry, 39 and 13. It says, "Gavest thou the goodly wings unto the peacocks, or wings and feathers unto the unto the ostrich, which leaveth her eggs in the earth?" And warmeth them in the in the dust, and forget it that the foot may crush them, or that the wild beast may uh, break them. She is hardened against her young ones, and really through the spirit, this is really talking about the woman, right? The so-called black woman, even though it's describing the nature of a, a, a peacock and a, a ostrich. Okay, I want to go into that word hard, hardened real quick. Did I get it? Nope. There we go. And this is uh, from Job 30, 39 and uh, 16. Job 39 and 16 for the word hardened. She is hardened. All right. And uh, the Strong's, uh, the Strong's uh, goes back to eight seventy one eighty eight. The Hebrew word is quash quashach, and it's <clears throat> see what it got for hardened. Hardened. It says to make hard, treat hardly, treat severely, to make hard, make stubborn, to treat hardly, treat uh, roughly. You see. Now we go back to the verse. It says she is hardened against her young ones. And that's the nature of the so-called black woman. She treats them bad. Treats them, uh, give them bad treatment. You see? It says, um, as though they were not hers, her labor is in vain without without fear because the what is it talking about the, the ostrich you know bury the eggs to protect them but then forget where she they uh she the, the ostrich forget where she buried them and may possibly step on them or, or allow the um a predator to come and take the take the eggs and that's the same nature of this woman man she, you know the so-called black woman okay leave it leaving her children in a in a uh abandon her children in an apartment who is gonna prepare the food for them all right who's gonna make sure nobody broke in the house or was there somebody broke in or if they wandered out out the house left the house and started wandering around and then got snatched up. Or any whatever the case may be. Man, the point is, man, the black woman and the the so-called black woman is losing, is out of her mind, and you'll be out of your fucking mind to deal with her. And really these children need to to be taken out of the hands of these uh um uh, nutcases. I'm going to read on verse uh, 17, Job 39, 17. It says, because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has deprived her of wisdom, neither had he imparted to her understanding. That's why, you know, we know this is talking about a, about a woman right here in particular, the, the most vicious woman on the planet Earth, the so-called black woman. Okay, because it's talking about wisdom and understanding. Animals operate off of uh, instinct, okay? Not uh, reason and understanding, okay? The most high created animals to, to uh, um, operate instinctively, okay? So I'm, I'm going to end the video right here. Uh, you know, Lord willing, it was edifying. And until the next one, I say... Shalom.